Hello Unique Device, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make this turban. Let's get straight to the training. For this tutorial, I will be using this fabric. In my area, it's called the Yori Yori material. There's a shiny part and a dull part. The shiny part is the front part and you can see it's stretchy. It's very stretchy, while the other side is not. So, this material I cut out 25 inches length and 25 inches width. This part will be used for the base, to be used for the cut base. Please mind you, I used the non stretchy part for my length. The non stretchy part is for the length, and I cut the same thing for the lining. I had to pin it down to the lining before cutting out. Okay, so you can see the pins. Yes, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew those pin side. I'll be leaving this part open. I'm done sewing and this is the outcome of my work. So I'll be turning it out. The reason why I had to open up this part is I'll use it for turn up. That part that I left open, I'm going to turn out the material from that side. And I'll be ironing it out so it will be smooth. But if you don't have um, light in your area for ironing, you can still go on with this project. The material I pressed it down with iron, so this is the outcome of it. And next, now we're doing to this the banker base is to form my plates. So I'll be forming my plates from that edge where I did my sewing. Just watch carefully, and you will see what I'll be doing. Please, you mustn't iron this part if you don't have light in your area. You can just seal down with your sewing machine. I've sewn the edge of the fabric, so watch and see how I form the remaining plates. After forming the plate, I will take to my sewing machine and sew down. Then I will form another plate, and that plate will cover the the stitches. Please, whenever you are forming your plate, make sure that it covers the stitch. And I will sew down again. I will form another plate. It will cover the stitch. After doing that, I will ensure that I get four plates. Four is my target. So, guys, I'm done with sewing, and I'm. Um, Using iron to press it down. The next thing I'll be doing is to sew the edges of this sewn part. So next thing I'll be doing is to close up my cap base. Please pay close attention, you understand every process. I'll be sewing from here, from here, down, down to the edge. You can see it. So this is the outcome of mine. Here you can use your weaving machine to seal this edge. Or you use the lighter to hem the edge. So as for me, I'll be using lighter to hem the edge. And after this, I'll be doing my running stitch as usual. This will form the gathers at the back of the cap base. Next 
material we're cutting out is for the handle. We're done, almost done with the cap base, and this handle measures 13 inches length by 6 inches width. Remember, the length part is the not stretchy part, okay? I have to cut out two pieces. So I'll be folding it down and I'll stitch with my sewing machine. I had to measure at two inches had to mark out two inches then attach the handle and after holding down the pin it mustn't do so but I'm doing this is for clarity I'm going to stitch it with my sewing machine in a blocked form I'll be doing the same process for the boot handle Next material I cut out is for the round frame design. This material measures 35 inches length by 6 inches width. 35 inches length by 6 inches width. I had to cut it out three pieces. Yes, so I will be folding it the right side inside while the wrong side will be facing me. And I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew down. The other material I'm holding, this white one, is called breast pad breast pad you can get it from people selling tailor material all right i cut out three pieces and the first one made just 27 27 inches second one 29 and the third one is 33 let me take it again 27 29 and 31 sorry 31 27 29 31 by length and the width is 2.5 2.5 each and this material there's a shiny part and the rough part so the shiny part will be facing me and this rough part will be inside so I'll fold it this way take it to my sewing machine and sew down as well Stain, which has determined your fate. I've never seen so clear. I feel the end, and it's near the day of 
reckonings here, the sound of deafening fear. Oh. I'm just showing and turned out everything. Next thing I'll be doing is to insert the, the breast pad or felt inside this material. My energy is next level, so damn you better be careful. I got an angel and devil, he stabs me straight in the temple. I'm ready to be a rebel. I've got a lot of potential hidden inside of this vessel. That shit is so exponential. I need a first class ticket to the top, no limit. Take it to the clinic if you want to taste Come at me and you will be replaced They won't find a trace of you anywhere or any place so This is also another method of inserting the breast pad inside the material You can use your pin If your material is not so free And if it's tight you can use pin to put it inside so guys what i'll be doing now is i'm um, i located the center of the toban base uh, then i use pin to hold it down to my dummy head I want to align the frame so you can see it remember I told you it measures 27 inches 29 and 31 so 27 will be down 29 will be in the middle while the 31 will be on top okay so make sure everything is equal before tacking it down So first of all, I'll be using my candle gum. This is my glue gun and candle gum. I use it to hold it down temporarily before using my needle to hold it permanently. So we're going to hold it down this method. Just watch and see what I'm doing. Done with the front part, what I'm trying to do at the back is to know where to cut out the excess. I observe that there is some excess there, so after arranging it, I'll cut out the felt so it will not be too bulky. After arranging it, I saw the excess part and I had to use my scissors to cut out just little, little at the back so it will not be too bulky. I will do something to all the, the materials that will bring out those felt or breast pad and cut it out.
cutting it out at a range, then use my needle and thread to tack it down. So I'm done with this. Next thing I'll be doing now is to hold it with my needle and thread. Please, I had to use my turban lift. My turban lift, I had to insert it so it will give me a firm hold to it. So at the back of the turban, you can see that I have not covered it up. So I had to cut out these pieces, which is 6 inches length by 5 inches width. I cut it out, then take it to my sewing machine and sew. I had to fold the 6 inches part. I had to fold it out. Then sew with my sewing machine. So I'll be tacking with my needle and thread now. Remember, this is the middle point, okay? So with my needle and thread, I'll be tacking here. Yes, I'll be tacking this point. I'll tack this side as well as the back. You can see it. So I'll be doing something to this side. I'll tack here and tack this point. So let's count. I'll be tacking one, two. Three, four, and five. So I'm done with the cap base. Next thing I'll be doing is the design that'll be on top of it. And this fabric here, I cut it out. Twelve pieces. I had to cut out twelve pieces of it. And this fabric measures eight inches length by six inches width. 8 inches length by 6 inches width. Remember, I said 12 pieces. So I'll be taking it to my sewing machine and I'll sew down. The part you will fold is the 6 inches part. That part that measures 6 inches. That's where you'll be folding. Once I'm done turning everything out, I'll be using this crinoline. This crinoline is 3 inches crinoline. 3 inches crinoline is in the market. You can buy it from people selling fascinator material. So I'm inserting it to all this fabric the way I'm doing now.
please guys i need to pay close attention here so you see the way i got this six in one bow design Please guys, if you have watched this level and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please I beg you, please oh, subscribe, I beg I beg. <laughs> then if you've not liked this video and you like what you are saying, encourage me, I need that encourage inside me, motivate your girl now, I need that motivation, please just like this video, <laughs> like this video. Then for new members that have not clicked on the notification button do so so you'll be notified whenever i post new videos yes just hit the notification bell button whenever i upload any new video you'll be notified thank you hope you can see i got two of it right so next thing i'll be doing now is to tack it to the tobanka base with my needle and thread i'll be placing it at this spot then i'll use my needle and thread to tack it down I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade um, Another design I'll be forming now is, is more like a fascinator design and the wire I'm holding is called a millinery wire. You can get it from people selling fascinator things. Yes, and the length of this wire is 28 inches. I have to cut out 28 inches of this wire. So I'll be joining it. Just watch and see the way I'll be forming this design. As you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose Please guys, if you want a detailed video On how to form this wire design Check out my page I 
I uploaded this video on how to make a satellite fascinator, you will learn how to do it. So right now I'm covering this wire with this fancy material I got from the market. Yes, it's a net material but a bit shiny too. So I'll be tying it round. I don't really want it to be curved. So I want it to be flat and a circle form. So I'll be using my thread to tie it round. Then cut out the excess. You said you felt that way. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. As you fade away. Also be using these false feathers to cover the edge of the wire. Reason is because I want to beautify the edge. You can leave yours this way, but this enhances the beauty as well. Once you're done with that, you tack it as well on top of the cap base. You can remember we've tacked the four six in one bow, so I'll be tacking this on top of it. So after doing that, you can use rules or any other thing to beautify yours. But I'll be attaching the remaining six in one bow on top of this fascinator. You can see the way it looks. I also use my needle and try to do the tacking. You can gum down if you want, but I prefer tacking because it lasts longer. And I'll be using this petal rose for my design to cover out. I'll use it to cover the, the top of that six in one bow. This will add more beauty. So guys, you can use any petal design, any rose, any applique you know that suits you. You can attach on top of this. Yes, remember it's all about creativity. And if you have reached this level and you've not subscribed, ah, you're doing me bad though. I do me bad. I beg you, please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I post any new video on this channel. Yes, it's all about creativity. By God's grace, I will be posting more videos on this channel. So you, you don't want to be left out, right? <laughs> please, guys, subscribe. Help your sister's ministry. I really need that subscription. Yes, and also watch ads on my page. Please, I'm begging, support your girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for watching to this level. It's really good to have you here. I love you all. I pray that all you lay your hands upon will be successful in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for staying to this time. I really appreciate it. Like, oh God, I appreciate it. For those that do comment on my wall, I really love that. That's just like blood running on someone's vein. You would understand. Once I see your comments and your likes, oh God, God will bless you all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts too